our yep. coach and let you go ahead and make another comment. Well, uh, first of all, I want to give a lot of credit to uh, to Mississippi State. You know, they, they played a very good football game and and uh, they were very opportunistic at times. And uh, so they were uh, they were on their game. We weren't. We uh, we didn't make plays. Obviously, I mean, you can just start with five turnovers. You know, you can't win any game with five turnovers, and we know that. Obviously, one of them in the red zone. Uh, but you know, there was there was a lot of things that were very disappointing today. Uh, I didn't feel like uh, we ran the ball near as effectively as we needed to, to to be able to win a game like this on the road. Uh, obviously, the turnovers very uh, very disappointing. Uh, I thought defensively we played well at times. We were very too uh, too sporadic uh, in stopping the run. Uh, again, I feel like uh, there were some tackling issues out there, without question. Uh, we got outplayed, and I'm going to own it, and uh, that's the bottom line. So uh, we've got to improve as a football team. And we will, and uh, that's my job. So, uh, again, overall, uh, the effort from our kids—they kept playing down to the end. Uh, but to do the things that we did tonight and expect to win, we can't do it. So, uh, again, uh, we got to get better starting from the top on down, and uh, we'll go to work back on that tomorrow. But this is a good football team that we played. Uh, we had our moments, we had our chances, we didn't get it done. Question. Gene, are there any simple answers to what's wrong in the passing game? Uh, I think that, uh, you know, as, as we go back and look at it, uh, I think it's not just one person or one thing. I think at times it's protection, at times it's ball security, uh, at times it's, um, uh, you know, hitting, uh, missing open receivers. Uh, I think that, you know, other than that last drive, uh, you know, we struggled all day. We couldn't, we couldn't get a pass off, and we did. It was to the other team. So, uh, but that was obvious for everybody. But we've got to go back, and we will spend uh, countless hours trying to figure out exactly how we're going to be able to throw the football. And we, we know what we got to do, and we got to improve at it. Gene, did you feel like you were out physical by them on the line of scrimmage? I felt like uh, there were times in the game where it went back and forth. I feel like there was times when we were very physical. There was a couple of good third third down stops in there and uh, uh, you know short yardage stops in the open field w which was good but you know I felt like there was times when we did we definitely got out physical and again I think that goes back to the inconsistency you know of us of us playing and uh, you know that's on both sides of the ball that's not on one particular side of, side of the ball so uh, to me there's there's no question that you know we've got to We've got to up our physicality level of the game on both sides of the ball, certainly in our running game, as well as stopping the run today. Do you feel Gene, like you way took a step backwards today? Pardon me? Do you feel like you took a step backwards Well, today? we're going to have to look at the film and, and really look at it. You know, obviously, I, you know, I thought it was a very dismal performance. And, you know, at halftime and coming out and returning the open kickoff and, and taking the lead was, was a positive uh, for our team. And that, pretty much everything after that, uh, we, we, were, we went south. And Gene. so... Uh, we got to look at it tomorrow, and uh, we got to get it fixed. Was Gene, there any thought of putting changing quarterbacks at all? Uh, there was not a, uh, a sense anywhere in changing the quarterback. Uh, we felt like, again, uh, it wasn't always the quarterback. I don't think you can always, uh, you know, assume that it is. Again, there's protection issues. Um, you know, so some of that's on the offensive line. Some of that's on the running back. Some of it's on the receivers and the routes they run. So, um, again, we're going to go back and, and evaluate everything, and, and we'll move on from there. Gene Trey had the big game last week. He only had four carries going into the fourth quarter today. Was there any, any particular reason why he was kind of less featured? Well, not really. I mean, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to get both running backs involved, and Mike Blakely was carrying the ball well early. Uh, Mike, Mike Blakely got a few of those, those carries that, uh, that, Kyle got, or that um, Trey got last week. So, uh, you know, no particular reason. They were both running the ball fine. Uh, we obviously weren't getting the type of movement up front that we needed uh, to, you know, to be more effective in the run game. But uh, nothing to do with Trey now. During the past week, you said you were proud of Kyle last week about certain things he did in last week's game. What's your assessment at the moment of, of this game, of anything that he did positively at, at all from this? Well, you know, I think when he had time at the end, again, you know, he's throwing the ball. And, I mean, it looks like, you know, what we expect from Kyle. But that's at the end. It's too little, too late. And, again, there's a number of reasons. I can't go back without looking out the film and, and, you know, point all the fingers to Kyle. Obviously, he did not play well today. Now, 
why that is and you know what the reasons are for that. Uh, it could be you know there were there were a lot of other errors in there as well. Uh, but to to say that you know everything was his fault, uh, I don't know that I can say that. But I think as we all saw, you know he certainly needs to play much better. Gene, what was the status of uh, Clint Mosley's silk shoulder? Would he have been able to go in today if you guys made that decision? Yes, he would. have. What was Kyle like mentally and emotionally at halftime, second half after the game? Uh, you know, I think he's, you know, this is a learning moment for him. I think this is, this, is a, this is a growing experience, you know, and you turn the ball over that many times, you know, mentally you got to be strong enough to man up and come through this. And we've had these conversations numerous times. So uh, at halftime he was fine and, you know, he was confident and, uh, you know, after the game, you know, we had a talk right there at the end of the game, and, and uh, but he's, you know, he's he's mentally a tough kid, and he's got to move forward from this, and he's got to improve, and he's got to make sure that there's some teaching moments in here that that are very valuable to him. He's got to move on.